guys, Maritime Spook here, and uh, just gonna do a quick little video, uh, a tag response. Uh, I was tagged in uh, a video by my good buddy there, Hefe67. Uh, if you don't already have him, you already sub to him, go sub him right away, guys. Um, does some awesome beer reviews, uh, beer and gear, really. Uh, he does some beer reviews and some gear, and uh, just really, really cool guy. And uh, remember, don't feed the zombies. <laughs> I get a kick out of that. He's got a couple signs there, and you know, and on his intro it says not to feed the zombies. So, really, you shouldn't be feeding them. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, the the tag pretty much entailed uh, what was your favorite knife and what is your sharpest knife. Um, favorite knife is going to be difficult. Uh, what you see before you here, guys, is basically my rotation of knives that I carry. Um, and just uh, recently, the last couple months, uh, my girlfriend actually started to carry a knife every day. Um, today she's actually just carrying a little small Spyderco bug, but uh, a lot of the time she'll carry this uh, 710 Sam Ram U. Uh, she likes the Psychoma Sampa because it's easy to open uh, by CRKT. And actually, she likes a lot of the smaller knives, so um, the Greg Life CRKT Greg Life Foot urban shark is another one and her job she opens a lot of boxes so the ones i just mentioned are pretty much perfect for that so um so this is basically my rotation and a couple that she carries too as well and i don't usually i usually carry two uh two knives every day um, one will be one of these main knives and then i'll carry this uh 10 function victorinox here and now that I've started carrying this again, uh, I didn't carry it for year, carry one for years and years, guys. Um, it's been about the last year, year and a half that I've got back into knives. So I always carried a pocket knife, but to uh, you know get into the newer ones and what's you know what are the good steels and stuff like that. I never really paid a lot of attention to that until, uh, like I said, the last year, year and a half. But I always love carrying that. Now that I've started carrying it again, I could not see me not carrying one of these guys. Um, I use it every day for something. Um, you know, it's just really, really handy. So, uh, and actually, Hefe himself had mentioned that that is pretty much his favorite knife uh, because it has a bottle opener on it for opening his beer. But not not only that, I mean, the practical purposes of it are endless. I mean, you can use it for anything. So, but uh, anyway, back to what I would say. So, I'm going to get the sharpest knife out of the way right off the bat. Um, Believe it or not, guys, uh, this Kershaw asset, it's a $16 knife. Um, I got it, uh, acquired it from my buddy Kaya Kaya 101. Um, we did a couple, uh, we did a little deal there. And it's got some paracord, a couple knives, um, some other gear. He really hooked me up really good. So, I mean, shout out to him, Kaya Kaya 101. Thanks a lot, man. Um, this knife came razor sharp from him, but... I used it and used it and used it at work and you know cut cardboard every day and cut a whole bunch of other stuff every day opened a million boxes and it did start to dull started to dull a decent amount but I used my little Smith's uh, little ceramic sharpener and I got it right back to the way it was and it might even be a little bit sharper even so this thing is wicked wicked hair popping sharp and I just love the action on it and I mean it's a $16 knife guys so I mean if you beat the crap out of it <laughs> go get another one you know what I mean so but uh, that would be basically my sharpest knife only because where I use it every day almost every day at work or did use it almost every day at work I actually haven't carried it for a little while now but I pretty well used it all summer and uh, like I said it started to lose its edge but I put it right back easy enough and it was uh it's holding pretty strong now so that's why i like the, the like i said a lot of people will say like since i've gotten into watching a lot of videos on custom knives and stuff having the more to high end steels you know like something like uh you know this bench main it's, it's got uh uh 154 cm and i actually didn't even say that right guys and yes i did 154 cm i thought it wasn't cpm sorry uh, 154 cm on this one um, this has wicked wicked edge retention I mean it lasts forever and 
it's not that hard to sharpen again, but I mean, with the 8CR, I mean, you go through the ceramic, uh, you know, the cheap ceramic sharpener four or five times, and it's ri right back the way it was. So I really, really like that about it. So, anyway, that would be, like I said, Kershaw, Asset, sharpest knife I've got. A lot of these are close to that sharp, but I would just call that the sharpest just for the fact that, you know, I, I use it a lot and I know its capabilities, so... Um, so there's that. That's the sharpest one out of the way. Uh, it really would be hard for me to say my favorite knife, guys, because there's a few here that I just really love, but it has to be this one, guys. Um, just where I live, you can see it's got scratches all over it and it's kind of beat up a little bit, but just from where I live, guys, this is just the perfect knife for the woodsman. Uh, I live in Canada, and I live in like a rural part of Canada, and a lot of us uh, have subsistence living which means you know you go out and you hunt your meat and you uh, you know you fish for your fish and just stuff like that so I mean a lot of the time I haven't so much done that in the last few years as far as the hunting I've done, done a decent amount of fishing but I mean stuff like that but uh, in the fall of the year uh, before winter starts really uh, we go and pick tips and what tips are guys is those nice pretty wreaths that everybody has on their doors in the you know Christmas time well those uh, have to be those tips have to be picked from the trees so I go out you know not just me but I mean you know people in my you know in my province of New Brunswick we go out and we pick the fir tips because we have a lot of fir trees and you know we sell them and people make them in the wreaths and this knife here uh, will be accompanying me on all my trips that I go do that this this fall and winter and uh, it's accompanying me pretty much everywhere. So this is this would have to be my favorite knife, guys. I re I just love it. I have big hands, and it fits my hand perfect. And it's you know it's a big beefy blade. So I mean, if you even if you want to look at it as a way as a tactical blade, you know it definitely fits that bill as well. So, but uh, really, really love this thing. I have trouble flicking stuff open with using this camera, guys, on the phone because I don't want to hit it, but. No, that would have to be my favorite as of right now, guys, for sure. Um, well, so there you have it, Heffy. Uh, I just wanted to do that briefly, guys, before I get ready to go to work here. So, sharpest knife, Kershaw Asset right here. Favorite knife, sorry, favorite knife, the Ontario Model Rat one. Uh, and I, like I said, I carry this every day with, with whatever one I carry, so... Anyway, guys, the Maritime Spook signing out, and uh, I look forward to the uh, the giveaway because I am still having a giveaway, guys, and I've got almost everything accumulated that I want to give away, and I just had to wait for the right time. So, And a couple guys <laughs> that I have packages going out, I've said this a million times, it was just for me to give a gift to. Um, they're all set. And I just want to tell you, Rod, uh, Rodney Newberry, if you're watching this too, I've got something for you, buddy, and I just need to get it to you, and I think you're going to like it. So. Anyway, guys, Maritime Spoke signing out, and uh, keep your stick on the ice, guys.